microcontroller architectures. Armed with some of the key concepts in microcontrollers, you can now dive into knowing different microcontrollers, different microcontroller architectures available. Harvard architecture. The Harvard architecture is a type of microcontroller architecture that has a separate memory space for program and data. This means that instructions and data are stored in different memory space, which allows for faster data transfer. One of the main advantages of Harvard architecture is its speed. However, it also tends to be more expensive than other architectures. If you see the Harvard architecture, it has the one control unit, and this control unit is accessing both the data memory and instruction memory separately. So that is the key characteristic of Harvard architecture. Next, you have one human architecture. The one human architecture is another common microcontroller architecture. Unlike the Harvard architecture, the von Neumann architecture has a single memory space for both program and data. This makes it less expensive than Harvard architecture. However, it can also result in slower data transfer speeds. So if you look into the von Neumann architecture, you have a central processing unit, the CPU, which has the control unit, or the ALU, arithmetic logic unit. So this central processing unit has only one memory unit that is for both that, that actually serves both data memory and program memory. Because the memory unit is same for both data and program, the same bus will be used for the data transfer. Hence, you, you see that slower data transfer speeds. Next, you have RISC architecture. Reduce instruction set computer RISC architecture is a type of microcontroller architecture that is designed to perform a small number of instructions very quickly. This allows for faster processing speeds and lower power consumption. However, it also requires more memory than other architectures and can be more difficult to program. So RISC architecture is basically have a smaller instruction set. This number of instructions are small. Since the number of instructions are small, you will end up having more memory consumed for the program. The next is SIS architecture. Complex instruction set computer called SISC architecture is a type of microcontroller architecture that is designed to perform a large number of complex instructions. This makes it more versatile than other architectures. However, it can also result in slower processing speeds and higher power consumption. So instruction set here is complex. That means that you have within one instruction, you can do multiple operations, but your CPU needs more processing to do that instruction, hence the lower the processing speed. And it also requires more power consumption. So microcontroller vendors used above different architectures and came up with various architectures, each designed to cater to specific application requirements. Below are some of the common microcontroller architectures, which are specific to a vendor or particular uh, use case. It's 8051. The 8051 architecture developed by Intel in early 1980s is one of the earliest and most widely used microcontroller architectures. It is an 8-bit microcontroller with a simple instruction set, small memory space, and lower number of I.O. pins. The 8051 architecture is known for its ease of use and has found applications in various fields from industrial automation to consumer electronics. The PIC, Peripheral Interface Controller. The PIC microcontroller architecture is developed by microchip technology. It includes a wide range of 8-bit and 16-bit microcontrollers. 
Epic microcontrollers are known for its low cost, low power consumption, and a rich set of peripherals, making them suitable for a wide range of applications, including autom automation, automotive, and home appliances. Even Epic also provides 32 bit microcontrollers. AVR. The AVR, AIF, and Vegard's Risk architecture is developed by Atmel, now owned by Microchip Technology. AVR microcontrollers are 8 bit risk based devices with a simple and efficient instruction set. They are popular for their ease of use, low power consumption, and availability in various package options. AVR microcontrollers are commonly used in DIY projects, robotics, and home automation. ARM, ARM Advanced Risk Machines architecture is a family of processor architectures designed by designed and licensed by ARM, ARM company. ARM, ARM processors are widely used in a variety of computing devices including smartphones tablets microcontrollers embedded systems servers and more the architecture is based on risk reduced instruction set computer principles which focuses on simplicity and efficiency so well in this course we're going to focus on arm controller that is stm32 is arm controller and we're going to work with that ms4 MSP430. The MSP430 architecture is developed by Texas Instruments. It is a 16-bit RISC microcontroller with ultra-low power consumption, making it ideal for battery-powered and energy-efficient applications. The MSP430 family is widely used in applications such as wireless sensor networks, wearables, and IoT devices. The PIC32 the PIC32 architecture is an extension of microchips PIC architecture offering 32-bit processing capabilities. The PIC32 microcontrollers are built around MIPS32 architecture and are known for their high performance and rich feature set. They are commonly used in applications requiring more computational power such as multimedia, communication, and industrial control. Renesas RX. The Renesas RX architecture is a 32-bit RISC microcontroller architecture developed by Renesas Electronics. The RX microcontrollers offer a good balance between performance, power efficiency, and a variety of peripherals. They are used in various applications, including automotive, con consumer electronics, and industrial automation. So these are just a few examples of many microcontroller architectures available in the market. Each architecture has its strengths and weaknesses, and the choice of the microcontroller depends on the specific requirements of the application, including performance, power consumption, cost, and available peripherals. Well, with this, we know what are the different microcontroller architectures that we have, and we can choose based on the needs of the applications that we're going to develop. Thanks for watching.